July 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So we have July 4th. There's fireworks, there's barbecues, everybody's getting together. It's a perfect time, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's a holiday. And I'm going to suggest to you during this incredible sky, listen to this. The sun is in Cancer and the moon is in Pisces. So the sun's in Cancer, which is water. The moon is in Pisces, which is water. And we have a lovely Jupiter in Scorpio. We have a grand trine in water. This is the time to be with your family. And actually, I know it's loud and it's wild and there's music and you're barbecuing, you're outside. And don't underestimate the beauty of a summer day where you can hang out with your family and actually let yourself not drink too much, not eat too much. It's hard to do, I know, July 4th. But at least you're emotionally available to this beautiful sky. When there's a grand trine like this, it's a configuration that suggests that somebody was born with a gift. It doesn't happen very often in the sky. That there's three planets all 120 degrees apart. And it suggests someone that's very soft and compassionate and emotional. So it's a funny thing to be saying that during a party, we've got this gentle energy. And so you could be the one at the party who's the designated driver or the one that's helping serve the food or the one that's looking over the kids and wanting to take care of them. It's a very nurturing time. However... There is a grand cross in the heavens as well, which is peculiar. We have Uranus and Mercury and Mars and Jupiter and Scorpio. They're all fixed signs. So not only is there a grand trine in this lovely water element, there's fixed signs, four of them. So it's kind of like a one foot on the gas, one foot on the brake, and there's two different energies. But in either case, these are a really good few days, especially if you are a Taurus, a Leo, an Aquarius, or Scorpio to actually reevaluate because there's tension in the air when there's a grand cross like that. that. That's what it looks like, the four planets like this. But that grand trine in water gives you a chance to soften your whole perception. So just notice if a baby was born with this configuration, such a powerful grand cross and a grand trine, you would know that these few days are offering us a chance to pay attention to the angst with the sensitivity and the generosity of helping people and being kind. <gasps> I love that story. Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you, open up your heart when the sun's in Cancer and the moon's in Pisces and feel other people and see if you can take your attention off the party animal and actually be in service.